Hello everyone. Welcome to Controllers Tech. I have already covered sleep mode, and stop mode. Today, in this video, I will cover the standby mode in STM32. Let's take a look at the datasheet. These are the common steps in other modes too. Other than these, the wake up flag must be cleared, before going to standby mode. If the RTC is chosen, an RTC wake up flag must also be cleared. We can exit the standby mode using wake up pin, or RTC interrupt, or watchdog timer. The latency of standby mode is same as reset. When the MCU wakes up from the standby mode, the SPF flag in the power control register is set. We will use this fact, to perform some operations after waking up from the standby. Let's start by creating a project in the cube IDE. I am using STM32F446RE controller. Give some name to this project, and click finish. Here is the cube MX. First of all, I am selecting the external crystal for the clock. Enable the UART for communicating with the computer. PA5 is connected to the LED. Enable the wake up pin. Let's go to the clock setup. I have 8 MHz external crystal, and I want the system clock of 180 MHz. Click save to generate the project. When the MCU wakes up, all these will be executed again. To confirm if the system was resumed from standby mode, we will check this SB flag. If the flag is set, means the MCU woke up from the standby mode. First thing we will do, is clear the flag. Next we will display this string on the console. And then, toggle the LED few time, with some small delay. At last, disable the wake up pin. Wake up, pin 1 is common in all MCU. Wake up, pin 2, and 3 are supported by these microcontrollers only. I am using wake up, pin 1, as it's present in all the MCU, and it is the pin PA0.
Now, this is the procedure to enter the standby mode. As mentioned in the datasheet, we must clear the wake up flag before entering the standby. I am going to display this string. Blink the LED for the indication. This blinking rate is different from the initial one. We must enable the wake up pin before entering standby. Just to make sure. Now, finally enter the standby mode. Include the string.h file for string related operations. Let's build this code. I am going to use the debugger. As you can see, when I pressed the reset, the string got printed on the console, LED blinks at 750 milliseconds delay, and the MCU goes into the standby mode. When the button is pressed, the MCU wakes up, and string got printed, and LED blinks at 200 milliseconds, to indicate the wake up. Same thing happens, if I press the button again. We can also use the RTC to wake the device up. I have already covered the RTC setup in my stop mode video. In RTC wake up, select internal wake up. Make sure you turn on the interrupt. Leave everything as it is, we don't need to set the time. This is a periodic wake up, and setting time doesn't affect it. Now go to the RTC initialization function, and copy this function. Also comment it out here. Just like we enabled the wake up pin, we are also going to enable the RTC wake up inside the main function. I have already explained this calculation in my sleep mode video. You can check it out on the top right. Anyway this calculation is self-explanatory. I am using the periodic delay of 5 seconds here. As mentioned in the datasheet, if we are using RTC to wake the MCU up, we need to clear the RTC wake up flag also. After wake up, just like disabling the wake up pin, we must also deactivate the RTC wake up. Let's build this code, and run it. You can see the current consumption on the ammeter also. 
Right now the range is set at 200 mA. When the device is running normally, the consumption is around 36 mA. But, when it goes into the standby mode, it's showing zero. Let me reduce the range to 2 mA. Now you won't be able to see the higher range but, you can see the current during standby mode. Yes, it's around 0.002 mA, which is 2 microampere. This is extremely low consumption. The MCU is waking up every 5 seconds, because of the periodic wake up of RTC. We can also use the wake up pin to wake the controller. You can see the SBF flag, and WUF flag described in the datasheet. Now all three low power modes are covered. In stop mode, there is one feature called under drive mode. It's not present in Cortex M3, and maybe in other series also. But it's present in F446RE, and I will cover it in few days. You can use these low power modes according to your application. This is it guys. I hope you understood the video. You can download the code from the link in the description. Have a nice day.